The new CD is called Right Back At Ya, and it's basically the Over the Hump album. The last album was the Divorce album, and this is like, ah, like breath of fresh air. I'm kind of like rising above the, uh, the water and able to take a breath and have some fun. And I've got this great Vermont band backing me up. Uh, this is the first album I've recorded in 10 years with my own band. I used uh, you know, studio bands in the last couple in Memphis and Brooklyn. So all Vermont musicians recorded at Lane Gibson's studio right here in Charlotte, Vermont. I wanted to put something out there that says, you know what, you, know, you can make a great soul album in Memphis, you can make a great soul album in Brooklyn, you can make a great soul album right here in Vermont with Vermont musicians. And I don't think people would believe it normally, but you know, the reviews we're getting, every single one of them saying this is my best work yet. We're going to play a little number called 2 AM Talks. A lot of people find themselves in this kind of situation where you're up all hours of the night trying to figure out how to save something.
Thank you. I've played with each of the guys in the band for at least 10 years. Brett, Gary, and Ira, the core band. We've played together over 10 years. And when I bring, when I write a new song, I write it at home by myself, and then I bring it to the band at rehearsal, and I play it for them. And I don't give them any direction. I don't say, I want you to play this, I want you to play this. They just bring what they feel to it. And so the songs really organically develop from the core of the four of us working together. And I got to tell you, like, these guys, they're more than just, like, musicians to me. They're, they're my, like, extra family, really. We've traveled a lot. We spent a lot of mornings, like, having breakfast at some crappy hotel, you know, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we spent a lot of time in the van together, and they're family to me. So they, they make these songs as much as I make the songs. One of the beautiful things about this, this group of musicians, the four of us, is that since we have played together so long, um, we're all, I mean, I think I speak for them when I say we're all really invested in it. And... I know, I know Brett, my drummer, has said many times to me, he's like, I feel really proud and excited to get to be the first um, drummer to ever play on these tunes when you bring us these new tunes, that he gets a stake in creating it. And when we go out to play it, I really feel like they've got my back. These guys, like, I've played in bands before where, you know, when I start talking on the mic and preaching about something to the crowd, you know, guys in the band are like, uh, whatever, you know. These guys are like, they believe in what I'm doing, and I try to make them proud, you know.
Taking it slow. Featuring Mr. Joe Moore on the saxophone solo there. Vermont Treasure, Joe Mofo. Formerly of the Wilson Pickett Band, the Isley Brothers, the Staple Singers, the list goes on. I would like to take a second and introduce the full band to you. Is that cool? Y'all need to know who these people are. If you're watching out there on the interwebs, we don't want you to forget all the fine musicians up here. We got some of Vermont's finest right here on stage with me. All the way at my left to your right, the fine Miss Morgan Clarich on vocals. <laughs> Directly next to her, to my left to your right as well, Miss April Kasparri. <laughs> to my right to your left on baritone saxophone, Miss Jessica Friedman. Joe Moore on the tenor saxophone playing Joe Burrell's old saxophone. Big Joe Burrell's old saxophone. Still getting some soul in that thing. Way on the end, Mr. Chris Peterman on the alto saxophone. Oh, it's a tenor. It's a tenor. I'm sorry. Back on the keyboards, my main man. Been in my band for about 10 years, this guy in the purple here in the beret. Mr. Ira Friedman. All the way on the other corner on the bass guitar, ooh, Mr. Gary Lott Speech. <laughs> and back there on the drums holding the whole thing together, Mr. Brett Hoffman. <laughs> Thank you for watching and listening. The smallness of Vermont, the localness, the tightness, the caring community here really makes you feel as a musician that that what you have to say really helps people. This next tune is called Deeper Than the Eye Can See, and I had the great pleasure of uh, co-writing it with one of the greatest Memphis soul songwriters out there, Mr. Daryl Carter, the fellow behind such great hits as Bobby Womack's A Woman's Gotta Have It, O.B. Wright's uh, Blind, Crippled, and Crazy, Joe Simon's No Sad Songs, and this tune right here, Deeper Than the Eye Can See. Deeper and deeper, deeper than the eye can see. My love goes deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper than the eye.
Right back at y'all. Thank you all. Thank you so much for coming out of the studio today. Everybody out there in listening, watching land, way out there in the world, thank you for watching. We love you. <laughs>